When it comes to scanning QR codes, it's something we've all gotten used to doing without having to think twice. But because of a new scam, experts say you might want to use a little bit more caution. I'm Remy Murray to explain why. And a lot of these scams have just moved online and become technologically advanced. The community is on high alert after Akron Police Department posted this message on Facebook Tuesday regarding a recent brushing scam involving unexpected packages being sent to your home and QR codes located inside for you to find the sender. I think in general, don't scan QR codes that are not in expected places. According to cybersecurity expert Alex Hammerstone, online retailers use brushing to generate a lot of reviews and be highly rated. So in an effort to market their product, they do this. They'll sell the product at a very cheap price uh, to themselves and ship it just to a random address. It could be completely random or it could be that their your name and address were found in a previous data breach. Hammerstone encourages you not to panic if an unsolicited solicited package has been sent to your home and even says by law you can keep it. But Hammerstone and Akron police say it should come off as a red flag if that package does not include the sender's information or it is not from a known retailer and asks you to scan a QR code to find out who sent the gift. If you do scan it, experts say all your personal and financial information on your phone will be sent to scammers. Generally, if you didn't order the package, you should not be following the QR code. For consumers like Chloe Iglowski, she says this new scam is concerning. I would totally fall for that, for sure. Like, I get random packages to my apartment all the time, so that's kind of crazy. Meanwhile, others like Michael Osicki tell me he's going to avoid scanning that QR code. If you get an email from somebody that you don't know where it came from, you shouldn't open it or download any of the documents that it came with because that's how other scams happen as well. We reached out to Akron Police Department. Officials say they don't have any victims or current cases at this time, but they are on high alert. In Akron, Remy Murray, News 5.